Right, listen up petrol heads. You know Britain, right? The land of tea, crumpets and the Queen. But there's more to this island than just its quirky traditions and stiff upper lip. Land of warm beer, dodgy weather and a royal family that's more dramatic than an episode of EastEnders. It's a place where the weather can change in the blink of an eye and where the pubs are as much a part of the culture as the castles and cathedrals. But there's another thing that makes this little island nation stand out like a Monty Python sketch. We drive on the left side of the road. Yes, while the rest of the world, or at least most of it, has decided that the right side is the right side, we Brits have stuck to our guns and kept to the left. Yep, you heard that right. While the rest of Europe merrily tootles along on the right, we Brits stubbornly cling to the left, like a toddler refusing to let go of their favorite teddy bear. It's a tradition that dates back centuries, and one that we hold dear, even if it does confuse the heck out of tourists. It's enough to make you wonder, what's the deal with that? Why do we drive on the left when so many others don't? Is it just another example of British eccentricity? Or is there a deeper reason behind it? Buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the history of left-hand driving in Blighty, from ancient Roman chariots to medieval knights. And from the days of horse-drawn carriages to the modern motorways, we'll explore the fascinating story of how and why we ended up driving on the left. So, grab a cup of tea, sit back, and let's hit the road. Now, you might think driving on the left is some modern affectation, like those tiny sandwiches they serve at garden parties. But in reality, it's a tradition that goes way back, even further than Piers Morgan's hairline. See, back in the day, before cars were even a twinkle in Henry Ford's eye, most people traveled on foot or by horseback. And when you're on horseback, it makes sense to ride on the left. Why? Well, for starters, most people are right-handed. That means if you're facing a potential threat, like a highwayman or a particularly aggressive badger, you can easily draw your sword with your dominant hand while keeping your trusty steed between you and danger. Speaking of horses, those four-legged friends played a big part in solidifying left-hand driving as the law of the land. Horses were the primary mode of transportation for centuries, and their influence on our road rules is undeniable. In the Middle Ages, jousting was all the rage. This wasn't just a sport, it was a way of life for knights and nobility. Jousting tournaments were grand events that drew large crowds and showcased the skills and bravery of the participants. It was like medieval football, only with more lances and less spitting. The excitement and danger of jousting made it a popular pastime, and the rules of the game influenced many aspects of daily life, including how people rode their horses. Anyway, Jousters would typically ride on the left so they could keep their lance hand, usually the right one, free to deliver a knockout blow. This positioning was crucial for their success in the tournament and became a standard practice over time. And let's not forget about those horse-drawn carriages. These carriages were the main form of transportation for many people and their design and operation had a significant impact on road rules. With the driver perched on the right-hand side, it made sense to drive on the left so they could see oncoming traffic. This arrangement allowed drivers to better judge the distance and avoid collisions, ensuring a safer journey for everyone on the road. So you see, driving on the left is not just some random British quirk. It's a tradition that has been passed down through generations, rooted in the practical needs of horse riders and carriage drivers. It's a tradition rooted in practicality and self-preservation. The left-hand driving rule has stood the test of time, adapting to modern vehicles while still honoring its historical origins. This blend of history and practicality is what makes left-hand driving a unique and enduring aspect of British culture. Now you might be wondering if driving on the left is so sensible, why does the rest of Europe do it differently? Well, my friends, we can thank or blame that little French fella, Napoleon Bonaparte, for that. Napoleon, being a bit of a control freak, decided that everyone in his empire should drive on the right. Some say it was because he was left-handed himself, but who knows with that guy. Anyway, Napoleon's conquests spread right-hand driving across much of Europe, and the rest, as they say, is history. Except, of course, for Britain, which stubbornly refused to conform, like a teenager refusing to tidy their room. Section 5. A Divided World Left versus right on the road. So, there you have it. The world is basically divided into two types of countries, those that drive on the left and those that drive on the right. It's like a global game of automotive twister with everyone trying not to crash into each other. Most of the world, about two thirds, 
drives on the right. But a handful of countries, including former British colonies like Australia, India and South Africa, still cling to the left-hand side of the road. Section 6 Roundabouts and Overtaking Pros and Cons of Left-Hand Drive Now is there any actual advantage to driving on one side or the other? Well, not really. The debate over left-hand drive versus right-hand drive is a long-standing one, with passionate arguments on both sides. It's like arguing whether Marmite is better than Vegemite. It's all a matter of personal preference, although we all know Marmite is superior. Just like the preference for these spreads, the choice of driving side often comes down to what you're used to and what feels more natural to you. Some argue that driving on the left is safer for right-handed drivers, as it allows for easier gear changes and handbrake use. This is because the dominant hand is used for more complex tasks, which can make driving feel more intuitive and less cumbersome. Plus, roundabouts, a staple of British roads, supposedly flow more smoothly when traffic is going clockwise. The design of these roundabouts is such that it can reduce the likelihood of accidents and improve traffic efficiency. On the other hand, overtaking on single-lane roads can be a bit hairy when you're driving on the left. The visibility can be limited, making it challenging to judge the distance and speed of oncoming vehicles. You have to stick your neck out into oncoming traffic, which can be a bit like playing chicken with a double-decker bus. This can be particularly nerve-wracking on narrow roads where space is limited and the margin for error is small. Ultimately, whether you prefer left-hand or right-hand drive, it often boils down to what you're accustomed to and the specific driving conditions you face. Section 7. Switching sides? Not a chance. So, will Britain ever switch to driving on the right? Don't bet on it. It would be a logistical nightmare, requiring changes to road signs, traffic lights, and even the design of cars themselves. Besides, we Brits are nothing if not creatures of habit. We've been driving on the left for centuries, and we're not about to change now, even if it means being the odd one out. It's like that time your granddad refused to get a mobile phone, claiming he was perfectly happy with his rotary dial. Some traditions are just too ingrained to mess with. Section 8. The Great British Road Trip. A unique experience. Driving on the left might seem strange to some, but it's all part of the charm of visiting Britain. It adds an extra layer of adventure to any road trip, like navigating a particularly challenging hedge maze. Just imagine yourself cruising down a winding country lane, the sun glinting off the windshield of your Aston Martin, or Ford Fiesta, whatever you fancy, as you dodge sheep and sip tea from a thermos. It's an experience you won't find anywhere else in Europe, and one that's sure to create memories, and possibly a few near misses, that you'll never forget. Section 9. Keep left and carry on, a quirky tradition endures. So, there you have it. The story of why Britain drives on the left is a long and winding one, full of historical quirks, stubborn traditions, and a healthy dose of British eccentricity. It's a testament to our island nation's independent spirit, our refusal to conform, and our unwavering love of a good cuppa while stuck in traffic. So next time you're behind the wheel in Blighty, remember to keep left, keep calm, and carry on, just like we've been doing for centuries. <laughs>